<laughs> and number one, dear Dave, uh, who was your favorite guest of all time? This is an excellent question, and we get this probably. This is probably the single most common question we get. This comes to us from uh, Catherine Doherty, uh, Glenside, Illinois. Who was your favorite guest of all time? Uh, Catherine, uh, Paul, you remember this? We did a show a few years ago, and it was little kids, and we had the little kids, and they would come on and they would tell jokes. And there was uh, one little girl in particular, I don't know, she couldn't have been more than f four years old. Her, her name was Charlotte. And I'm telling you something, ladies and gentlemen, she was so cute, she absolutely broke our hearts. And I would have to say that probably Charlotte was maybe our favorite guest of all time. Here, take a look now. Charlotte telling a joke. Just a all sweet. right, Charlotte, you want to tell folks your joke? OK. Tell us the joke. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive? Olive who? I love you, David Letterman. <laughs> Is that pretty good? Well, that was a long time ago, and we loved little Charlotte so much that we decided to invite her back to the show tonight just to see how she's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Please welcome little Charlotte. Charlotte, where are you, honey? <laughs> How have you been? Okay. Good. Listen, thank you very much for stopping. And say hello to mom and dad, okay? Nice to see you. I love you, David Letterman. All right. So little Charlotte, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you. The kids grow up fast, don't they, Paul? Yes, it's surprising. Oh, boy. It breaks your heart, doesn't it? Turn around and... Huh? What? You turn around exactly. and they're big, fat yeah. sluts. There you are. <laughs> oh, but with the love. I meant it yeah, with, with the, the love. Yeah, with the love, of course. That's some suit, Paul. Thank you very much. For... Glad you like it. What is that, titanium? Yeah, whatever it is, it is. Uh, dear Dave, letter number two. Uh, does your staff have any nicknames for you? Uh, some person in Spokane, uh, Josh Mulvey. Uh, Josh, um... Nicknames, I, I don't know, people, you know, instead of David, people call me, you know, Dave. <laughs> Had a couple of drinks, and, uh, but I, other than that, I don't think, no, no, nobody really Dave, has any nicknames uh, for me. Yes, hey, hey, I'm Dave. sorry. Oh, Alan Coulter, ladies and gentlemen, our announcer over there. Hi, Alan. Hi, Dave. <clears throat> Dave, uh, what about my nickname? What about your nickname? Oh, I'm mm. sorry, Alan, I didn't know. Did, do you actually have a nickname? Well, as you may know, the, uh, the ladies around the office like to call me Big Red. <laughs> the female members of the Late Show staff would like to make it clear that they have never referred to Alan Coulter as Big Red. When they do address him, they use one of the following nicknames, Psycho, Shifty, or Mr. Restraining Order. We apologize for any confusion. Thanks, Alan. Uh, please, Dave. Dave, it's Big Red. All right, fine, Big Red. Letter number three. Letter number three. Dear Dave, uh, how come you don't have any wild animals on the show? Well, first of all, we have wild animals on the show all the time yeah, with uh, uh, Jack Hanna when he comes on from the, the uh, Columbus uh, Monkey Ranch and Gator Farm or whatever. <laughs> um, but I think this letter is talking about, you know, why don't we have, like, actual wild animals just uh, in the studio? And, and I'll tell you, this is from a guy named uh, D-Clan Bork, North uh, Troy, New York. If you're, if, you're, if you're writing in a letter, it, it helps if your name and your hometown rhyme. Uh, D. Clan Bork from Troy, New York. Troy, New York. All right. yeah. Well, D. Clan, the uh, simple fact is that this is a, a television studio, so it would be really, uh, I think, irresponsible for us, frankly inhumane, to, to keep wild animals here instead of out in, in the, their natural habitat, you know, where they belong. It's just as simple as that. That's the only reason we don't have the wild animals. Dave's right, Kenny. I know, Pat. What a fool I've been. It was wrong of me to keep you here, Swifty. You belong in the untouched splendor of the wild. Come on, it's time to go.
You boys have learned a little lesson. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah. All right, letter number four. Uh, Dear Dave, our daughter Abigail just moved into uh, your building. We would appreciate it very much if you could just look in on her from time to time. Thanks, Dave. Russ and Diane Margulies from Baltimore, Maryland. It doesn't rhyme. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, Russ and Diane, not only, and thank you, by the way, for allowing me to kind of take care of your family for you, not only, uh, <laughs> I'm not even, even sure what that means exactly, but I, uh, not only have I checked in with your daughter, uh, I've invited her to appear on the show tonight, and she's here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor, please welcome Russ and Diane's lovely daughter, Abigail. Abigail, where are you? Here she is. Thanks, Abigail. Hey, nice you, honey. what is that? Kids, kids really grew up. Hey, you just did that joke. No, I'm sorry? You did that joke. That's the same as joke number one, letter number one. I know. Yeah. And last week, you did the same joke again. Can we see it? Yeah, Roll it. That's right. Well, we, Roll it. Jonathan Estrada. Jonathan, come on out. You should be ashamed here. You said, well, this kind of money. crap. <laughs> this is what makes my, my work here a living hell. No puedo aguantar más esta porquería. No quiero saber más de esas cosas. No lo entiendo. No quiero saber más. No quiero saber más. Wow. Man. Look at that, boy. Fidel's taking it kind of hard, ain't he? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for Tony Mendez, our cue card kid. Tony. <laughs> you see, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the middle of a desperate, dreadful comedy shortage. We, we have to conserve. <laughs>